Excel 2016 Module 6. This is Part 7 and we will begin working with using templates and we will start out first of all with using the saved templates that are available online. So we are going to start out by choosing the file and then new. All of these options are actually templates. It's a, basically a starting point that is predefined for you. And you can choose things to change or modify about them after you start working with them. So the first thing you want to do is you want to search online for the template that you need. So for example, if I am using, wanting to use a timesheet, I would click in this search box and type in timesheets. When I search, it's going to look through their online templates and it's going to locate several options for me. And what I'm going to do is I am going to find the timesheet option that says weekly timesheet eight and a half by eleven portrait. So this is the one I'm going to choose. A couple things you want to look at when you are selecting templates to work, use with your office products. Keep in mind all office products have these Word, excuse me, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, they all have templates, even Access. So when you go to use a template, one of the first things you want to look at is who provided that template. You know, I've gone out in Word and looked for templates of certain types of letters or memos and you find some things out there that have really poor grammar and are not written well at all. So you want to look at who created these. If it's Microsoft Corporation, you can probably feel like they did some testing and they made sure, for example, in Excel, that their formulas are in there correctly and things are not going to have problems in them as much. Okay, I feel like Microsoft is going to allow their name to be assigned to things if they feel like those items are set up well. They're not going to want to post things out here that they discover have a lot of mistakes in them because that makes them look bad. But if you look at who it was provided by and it says Joe Schmo, then you don't really know if the formulas are correct and if everything is set up okay. It doesn't mean you can't use the worksheet but it does mean you should be reviewing the formulas to make sure everything is set up correctly before you rely on it. So what, now that we've picked this timesheet, we're going to go ahead and click on the Create button. Okay, so now we can begin to use this template. You'll notice that it comes in with the name of the template name followed by a number. So we're going to go ahead and start typing in the information. So it wants us to put a company name in here. So we have Reveries Urban Centers. 
We are going to decrease the font size a little bit on that. So we're going to make it go down to 18. Then on C4, we're going to type the individual's name. That's Gordon Warren. We'll go down and type the manager name of Timothy Root. The week ending date of 8-26-2017. Now notice when I typed in the week ending date, it automatically fills in each day of the week for me. In D10, we have eight. D11, I have eight. But on Tuesday, he actually worked nine and a half hours. So he gets 1.5 hours of overtime. And we're going to assume that that is all he worked. So when we scroll down, it wants to know the hourly rate that this individual is paid. So in, whoops, where'd that go? There we go. In D18, he makes regular pay of $15 an hour. And we're going to enter 22.5 as his overtime rate. And then you can see it computes his gross pay for both hourly and overtime and then gives him a total. So that's how easy it is to utilize these templates. We can pick something that's already been created and we can then enter the information into it. There are templates out there for amortization schedules for loans, for investment purposes. There's all sorts of them. We're going to go ahead and save this file and we are going to enter a name of Warren's Weekly Time Sheet. So again, when you're looking for a template, you go to New and then this allows you to search. And as you can see by looking at this list of options here, there are many templates available that you can work with. In the next segment, we're all going to look at how we can take a file and turn it into our own custom template.